morning everybody this is a video for what we're doing in the mornings so let me show you how it'll work for our little morning workout it's very similar to what we already do so if every morning you've got your spelling so can you say the word if you can't find out how to say the word can you spell it without copying it down great then can you use it in a sentence actually know what the word means so you can use it so as an example, if I look at an old one from last term, I picked a random one. Here's Anna's one. She's got discoveries. So if I was going to use that in a sentence, I might write something like some scientists become famous. after making new discoveries. So that's my example. I've used the word discoveries, one of my spelling words, in a bit of writing in my book or on some paper. You've got 11 spelling words each week. So if you just did two sentences a day, you would pretty much have used all of your spelling words in a sentence so that would be a good use of working on some spelling so next one is your sound waves you got five days to finish sound waves that should be the whole thing finished so if you need help with your sound waves or you get stuck here's the little reminder of how to do it first of all try by yourself see if you can do it if you think no i'm really stuck i really need help ask a buddy see if they can help you if your buddy's stuck to and they don't know then there could be an expert in the class could be someone in any year and they might be like yeah i know about homophones or i know about how this sound can be made with those letters and they can offer to help you as well and if you're still stuck after all of that go to an adult someone in the room or you can try and contact me and let me know you can also just skip that bit and move on as well but Five days is plenty of time to get your sound waves done. So there is that. After that, we've got reading to do. So reading, if you could use read theory, that would be great. But if you've got your own novels, that's fine too. But if you're reading easy books, you're not going to get better at your reading if you just keep picking easy books. So it's just like working out or exercising. So make sure when you're reading a book, you have to know yourself this is... A book I can read how long can I read for one little trick is you could get like a sticky note and you look at the book you open it up and you go I'm gonna put the sticky note here that's how far I'm gonna read I'm only gonna read two pages or three pages or maybe five pages whatever it is and then read the book and see if you can get up to that sticky note and you might find you actually go past it before you get tired so that's good so set yourself a little goal before you read how far can I read or how many different things on read theory can I do before I get tired? That's also the same for your writing on, on your paper. You could put a little mark on a page or a sticky note. This is where I'm going to, how much I'm going to write. Then try it out, see how your writing goes. You probably will write past your sticky note. You can probably write more than you think you can, which is good. But if you keep pushing yourself every day with those two things, you will get a lot better and you'll be a lot more confident with your writing and your reading which is good because that's going to help you with all the other things that you learn and then if you think you're finished i want you to push your limits in your reading or your writing so it's okay to take breaks as well so you might read for like 10 minutes and that's really good but maybe you could read for 20 minutes if you have that time if you've flown through all your work you might end up having 20 minutes can you read for 20 minutes i know kids in year three year four year five and year six, they could read for a whole hour. That's like their absolute limit before they're like, ugh. So see if you can do that. It's okay to take breaks as well. So one way you can take a break is you do a little mind thing. So I'll see if I can show you on the camera. Let me bring it up. So you put your fingers together like this. It's a little twirl thing. So it's like to distract your brain. So all your fingers are connected. And then you get your thumbs and you go try and spin them around. That was pretty easy. And then go to the next one, your pointer finger, 
still okay. Middle one gets a bit tricky for me. And this is the worst one, the ring finger. And then the pinky, not as bad. And then once you go one way, spin backwards the other way. So this makes you forget about what you were reading or what you were writing. And just trying to focus on getting your fingers to move the way you want them to move. And that's just a good way to give your brain a little rest. And then back there, thumb threes. And then once you do that, you go back, have another try with your writing or with your reading. So everyone should have their own goals. Everyone's got their own books that they're reading, and that's fine. So everyone's just got to be focusing on pushing themselves. That's the morning hour, the morning workout before fruit break. So if I find that you're still finished and you feel like you've pushed yourself with everything else and you're all done, then I will find some other stuff for you to do as well if you need that. But I think in that first hour, that's a lot of stuff. Spelling, using those as sentences, sound waves, doing some reading and doing that writing. That's a lot of stuff to do. But I think if you focus in, you'll do great with that. So next video I'll have for you guys will be reading some of the witches, the next two chapters. So I will see you then.